guys, welcome back to Pumpkin Reborns. I'm your host, Critter Girl, and uh, real quick, I just wanted to do this quick little um, tips video for you on how to clean your cloth body reborns. Uh, Lori here is cloth body, and we all know that cloth body reborns cannot have a bath. So, they get a little dirty, a little dusty, what do you do? Well, my babies in particular, I'm going to be using Lori as an example today, um, get dust that usually collects around their eyes, kind of right right here between their uh, the corner of their eye and the, their little nose and kind of in and behind their ears and kind of hard to get to. So what I like to do is I like to take a Q-tip and a little bit, bit, bit of water, just like this tiny little bowl right here. You don't need much at all. And I just barely dip my Q-tip in the water. Now you could, you could use a dry Q-tip, but I find that a dry Q-tip tends to leave more dust than it picks up for some reason. And then you just very gently brush the area that's dusty with your Q-tip. And since the Q-tip is a little bit damp, it'll pick up that dust and it'll stick to it. I do usually try to go in their nose a little bit because dust does get in there too. Um, so I do like to, I like to clean my Reborns every once in a while. And so um, obviously if you have a full body vinyl or full body silicone, uh, you can give them a bath, but... Uh, very few of my Reborns are able to have a bath. Oh, and by the way, you can use the other end of your Q-tip. If you keep the other end of your Q-tip dry, you can use it to dry up the water when you're done. So I'm going to get her... She needs her lips a little touched up. As you can see, her lips... It's hard kind of to see on camera, but some of her paint's coming off on her lips. But I don't know if I'm going to touch that up or not. When I go out with her, she usually has her pacifier in her mouth anyway, and you can't even see it. So... It's not a huge deal to me. Let's get down in there on her little ear. There we go. And around her ear, around the ears, just, you know, just like us, you know, you gotta clean behind your ears. So, just clean back there. So yeah, it's just, and sometimes in their little, like, so you see her little rolls on her arms and sometimes in the little wrinkles on their feet and legs, sometimes you might wanna run a Q-tip through there too, just to make sure there's not any dust in there that you can't see. I don't like for them to be dusty. I've been cleaning my Reborns today. Um, I actually conditioned two of my Reborns hair, uh, Jamie and Annie. And um, a lot of experts would say you got to use like a specific kind of conditioner. But I've done that before and I always just use my own conditioner. Just like a gentle repairing conditioner. Just a little bit of it. Um, so, and I've never had a problem with that. So, <laughs> So, and a lot of times I do like to do the inside of their little hands as well, because that gets kind of dusty sometimes too, and their little fingers, you know, just places like that where you might want to pick up some dust on. Now again, if you're afraid to use any water at all on your Reborn, you don't have to. Like, I, I just dropped that. Like I said, you could use a dry Q-tip, but I found that a dry Q-tip tends to want to leave some dust behind, so... It's your choice, though. So, guys, um, that's just my quick little tutorial on how to clean your Reborn. Also, this um, does help take off some like little scuff marks if you have any on them as well. It just makes them less vi uh, visible. So, yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.